if you seek to replace all humans, there will be no one else to appreciate your work. Anyway, today we're playing Shrooms and Shines. That doesn't sound right. It sounds weird. It's supposed to be Mushrooms and Machines, but... So it should... Shrooms and Sheens. Anyway, so, um, basically what we've got is Ezreal and uh, Heimerdinger. It's a mess. It, it really is. It's a mess of a lot of things. You've got Ruination. You've got, um, Vengeance, Brood, Brood Awakening. You've got Withering Whale, Heimerdinger, Funsmith. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's, it's, <laughs> um... I think the idea was the idea behind this was to sort of put your opponent off their game because you know um, it's got a lot of the use the the archetypes of the meta deck. So your opponent sees Elise, and then you have Vile Feast, right? So their 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 mental train of thought is to destroy Elise immediately before because they're thinking, hey, maybe you're aggro, maybe your your spider's aggro. And um, and then they realize that that's not the case. They just used up their um, the, their removals. And this is the beauty about having a homebrew because you can mix things up into your deck and um, uh, sort of you know just put your opponent off guard because they're they're expecting one thing and then they're the next they're like oh no what's this he's got mushrooms all of a sudden he's got the puff cap peddler and he's casting spells. So uh, what I did was I sort of went off meta. Um, I sort of had to because I had no choice because I don't have the cards yet. And it's I don't want to spend on this game just yet. Um, there's a whole process, uh, uh, calculations and stuff for YouTubers when you're making new videos for new games. Um, but anyway, whatever. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't want to spend much on this game just yet until it you know it becomes a thing on my channel i'm not even 100 percent sure if uh if um this will be one of my main things but i will keep for as long as i am playing it and for as long as i still enjoy it i will still keep making videos of um uh runeterra so welcome to runeterra i feel like i don't know somewhere in my train of thought i was like did i say my intro <laughs> I forgot I, well, I did say my intro which is the impressions but i kind of i, I was wondering did i say welcome to runeterra <laughs> um anyway sidelining sidetracking so we've got a lot of like these removals a lot of threats in here and it seems to be working for me at least so far that i'm into bronze i may have to eventually net deck when i get into the higher tiers because i'm only in bronze and um so i'm not really too stressed out i'm just playing the game learning the archetypes learning the other stuff um learning the net decks that what cards are powerful but yeah anyway and i'm still collecting cards too at the same time and trying to level up it's such a slow grind but i enjoy the games it's fun it's fun anyway um i must have had anyway i must have said anyway so many times yeah so that's the idea of it but um, sometimes I get caught into my own combos where I put in the puff cap peddler or, or when I see that I have a lot of spells and I'm like, um, wait, well, I gotta have the puff cap peddler coming out, um, sometime. So I want to make use of that, you know, the, the pumping of puff caps into my opponent's deck, but the puff cap, uh, draw rate is kind of weird. There have been games when... I've had, I've p been able to pump like 29, 30 even puff caps, p mushrooms into my opponent's deck. And then s still, you'd think that 30 mushrooms is enough, but still you'd, you, I would get, uh, my opponent would get really lucky and he would draw, they would draw like a card that didn't even have a mushroom attached to it. Um, but then there are times when they would draw one and uh it would have they would draw a card and then it would contain five six maybe even seven mushrooms attached to it and that alone is kind of okay it's quite shocking but sometimes it's just unreliable i wouldn't suggest i wouldn't recommend playing this deck unless you have the cards but it's really fun for me at least because it's got the mushrooms and it doesn't have teemo um i'm a fan of heimerdinger so that's why i'm using heimerdinger um, and whenever I get to have Heimerdinger down on the board, 
Now, the one of the reasons why I only have one of Heimerdinger instead of two is because uh, I feel like Heimerdinger is a um, a sort of late game card that you play. Sort of, um, it's it's gonna it's going to be a given that you're gonna have all the spells in the world to use. You have 18 of them, um, but um, by you're not gonna run out of spells. That's that's basically it. But by the time Heimerdinger comes out into your hand, you're gonna be able to you know cast the big cards like Ruination, um, maybe even a few Vengeances in Brood Awakening, and that'll re and your your opponent. I feel the ideal moment to bring him onto the board is when your opponent has already used up all their removals and stuff. Like um, there's no point in having him on the board and then casting Ruination when your opponent still has Deny. So what you really want to do is sort of bait out your opponent's um, removals, destroy cards, and um, then you go in for the big kill. And usually when that happens, I, I, I win. Anyway, that'll be all for this deck. I will leave a uh, deck list at the, in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, man. Okay. I hate going up against these Ionia stuff. Hmm. I pack? Okay, I go first. Now these shark decks, quite annoying. Yep, go ahead. I think it took him a while to realize that no, I can't cast it on his uh then we'll have five. He has six. He might just he might go for it. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I got better things to do. Hmm. Plus two. He does have the Ionia thing, so Do you think he'll Definitely, definitely took him a while to think about that one. I think we need audio a little bit. Yeah, we can bring up the audio just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it took him out. Took him a while to think about that one. Okay. 
I know he's not gonna block. Because if he does, it's gonna die. Unless he pumped. Okay, wow. Didn't expect him to uh, block. Deny? Hmm. Or is he gonna kill his undying? Yep, I figured. I figured he was going to kill his undying. At least this way he doesn't draw a card. He gets to ramp the undying thing. And that card is quickly becoming like a really important card. Yeah, so his uh... At least died. He gets to bring back that. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Looks like we're gonna have to uh, place a rain check. On those puff caps. I'm summoned Grant Allied Mist rates one one everywhere. You have to die. Okay. So you wouldn't happen to, uh, I kind of wish we had the, the phantom prank, but we're kind of low on, on uh, crystals here. Mana crystals. What a day. I'm not going to be able to attack with Ez. Can put down this. What is that? Got my supported ally from Merle. Can put this down. I can throw the puff caps anytime I want. But I do want this to happen. Probably get rid of this um this one or this one. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Which one are you gonna block? Huh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ephemeral. Ah, he's gonna support this so every time it dies. Smart, I suppose. Oh, yes, spiders. I just hope he doesn't attack so soon. Grant an ally in hand, 3 3. Yes. 
I don't know. I may regret this, but... Right. Right, 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 right. Should I ignore it and let it do its three damage? I feel like we'll, we have the, the leech stuff within this deck, so I, I kind of feel like we can. Uh, static shock. Yes, please. What do we destroy? Probably the, the ones that I can't block. Or the ones that are toughest to block. Actually, I can attack now. Oh, what is that? Kill all units. Wow. Wow. Okay. He's putting himself sort of at a disadvantage, though. There's got to be like some way for me, yeah, because he doesn't have the thing. Boink. Boink. Nine. Please don't be one of those games again. The almost. Please don't be one of those almost games. Oh yes, thank you for the dark water scorch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does he have deny? I feel like he's got deny. That's the the one thing that he's been holding in there. No. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. I am going to have to block with this. What are you holding, man? Point. Okay. Thirteen puff caps. Elusive creature. I'm going to heal. Is this the same one that he put down earlier? The one that I, yeah. It was just, I, I was able to kill it. Are you gonna block or what? Because either way, I get to heal. I get to heal five. Wow. He, uh, she let it through. Oh my god. <laughs> I win! <gasps> I win! Finally! Please don't be denied. Oh no! Well, I do like the idea of having vengeance, but not you. And maybe you, but still, no, not you. I'm pretty sure by. Oh, I'm th uh, I'm I'm thinking probably by turn four, three, because that's one three. Uh, then turn two, we'll have two, then turn three. 
Actually, we already have three right now. So by turn three, we'll have four. We can use this. If we... Yep. We need to summon an elite. Yep, we're going to have to use it. And then turn three, we'll have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have the puff cap. We have that too. But I think that's going to come down a little bit later. Let's have uh, the prankster down on the board. And then by turn four, we'll have five. Unless he decides to kill. Uh oh. It gets four. Yeah, sure. Yikes. So we'll pass. We're not going to attack. We are defending. Defensive for now. Kind of mid-range-ish. Right. Now he has three big creatures on the board. Wow, you are stompy. You are stompy. Right. Well, we can chump block. And... Uh, oh. If I put this down, I'll have two. Can still use this to destroy that. Or destroy this. Point. Ugh, three damage. Yep, we're gonna throw you down and expend all of our mana. He still has four though. Toughness too. Okay. Right. But we have to destroy you. Then on my turn, we can kill this little annoyance. This bit. This small bit of annoyance. Interesting deck, the Battlesmith. I'm not going to be able to put down Heimerdinger yet. Oh, wow! So <laughs> he gets to draw that immediately. And then on my turn, I'll have. Uh, how many do we have now? Five? So six, seven. We'll have seven. So yeah, the idea is just to keep pumping the opponent with... Okay, yeah. Right, 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 right. Of course. Of course he has that. Sure. Sure he does. Of course. I could Ruination, but I, I kind of want to wait for him to put stuff down first. We, we can still survive. Create an Elite in hand. Right. Right, 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 right. It's not looking good. Plus it can uh, hook. Not looking good at all. We throw this down, that's minus three. And will leave us with four. Okay. He doesn't have the counter spell stuff, but okay, we have we have this. Mystic, but oh, that's odd. So we still have five. And at the same time, we're also passively leveling up as... Right, shit. I think he's had enough. <laughs> enough of the puff caps. He's like, no, stop with the puff caps, dude. <laughs> sure, I mean... No problem. There's nothing to We've got Miss Spider. And then we'll have three. Now that I think about it, I'm starting to... I'm starting to... I'm starting to regret. Okay, well, we have two. Mm-hmm. That's not going to be a problem. We just have to destroy this. Tree. 
create a token for five. Yep, that's gonna be that. I couldn't care less for uh, for Elise. I just need that other spider there. I don't even, to be honest, I don't even know why I have Elise in here. Yeah, we're doing we're doing five. I just want I want some form of damage on his uh, creatures. Okay, I think we're good. Puff peddler. This is fast, so if he puts down something, do nope, I'm, you know, dude, I can block, right, 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 you are forcing my hand, wow, he's going to do four damage, this is gonna be a pain. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It is fleeting, right? So it dies if I don't put it down. Fleeting cards is card from hand when the round ends, right? So I have to put it down and a waste of uh... But Heimerdinger levels up, so that's a good thing. It's always a good thing when Heimerdinger levels up. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's obviously going to block with this. Right. More of those. Okay. Four. You can only have six, if I remember. Puff caps. Hmm. Right. This is fast, if I'm not mistaken. And if I have to... Oh, this has a barrier, so... It's sad it doesn't have... Um, huh. Sure. 5-5. Five, five. Mm -hmm. Why the one with the shield? Why don't you just block? Oh, because it's eight. It'll die. Yeah, I see. I see why. Black spear. Okay. Well, we have enough for a brood awakening, or we can board wipe outright. We can just outright board wipe. We have enough for this and black spear. If it wait, one of my creatures died. Did that, didn't it? I was expecting it to proc. I guess it didn't. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh, this is a waste. Would have had. Right. So, fear. Can't block. But I can chump. Oh, uh, this is a waste. Would have liked this. Hmm. 
Okay, well, we can put this down. At least we can still have it. It's got Overwhelm. And we can also Black Spear this big six creature. Oh yeah, okay, we have this too. He may have Frost, which is going to be a problem if he decides to Frost me. Okay, so that's going to be three. What are you doing? Oh! Hmm. Interesting. One, two, three. Wait, I'm not done. I can still finish him. I can still finish him off. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> 